vai ainda começar também. Demorando? Pode ir? Acho que não. Ah, para mim já deu agora. Ah, ok, sim. Pode ir. Uh, so, today's brag session, uh, the speaker is Rodrigo Salomão, Salomão from Universidade Federal Fluminense. He's going to talk about on the classification of vibrations by singular curves on unirational surfaces. So, Rodrigo, it's a pleasure to have you here. Uh, so, please feel welcome and please go ahead. Thank you, Renato. So, it's a pleasure to, 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 to give a seminar here in, in Brazilian Algebraic Geometry Seminar. So, thank you for the invitation. Thank you, the organizers. So, I will start the, 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 the seminar with, uh, by recalling some some um, uh, result due to Bertini that says that almost all fibers of a dominant morphism between smooth algebraic varieties over an algebraically closed field of characteristic zero are smooth. And Zarisk uh, discovered that this theorem is no longer true when we pass from fields of characteristic zero to fields of positive characteristic. And I'm going to, to, to give a standard example of a vibration by singular curves. And so let us consider K be an algebraically closed field of characteristic P and a morphism from the affine plane to the affine line uh, given by this polynomial here. Uh, so the fibers of each uh, T in the affine line is given by the affine curve given by this polynomial here. And if you apply the Jacobian criteria, we will uh, be able to compute the singularities of the, this fiber. And we can see that the singularity is of the fiber over T is given by this point, okay? So, uh, now I want to, to, to highlight some interesting connections of this phenomenon, of, of this positive characteristic phenomenon. The first one uh, is with Enrique's classification of surfaces in positive characteristic, uh, given due to Bombier and Mumford. And the second one, the second interesting connection is with arithmetic geometry. And uh, we'd say that there are pencils of singular curves that are non-classical and strange curves on, uh, on the plane, okay? So where non-classical means that all, all uh, smooth points of the curve uh, uh, are uh, flex points, okay? And the strange curve means that there is uh, one point in the plane belonging to all of tangents uh, the, uh, of this curve, okay? So another interesting connection is with a counterexample of Kodaira vanishing theorem due to Mukai and, and Zhang. And the last one is with isolated singularities with infinity Milner number in a joint work with Rodriguez and, and, and Hefes, okay? So after to, to, to highlight these interesting connections, uh, it's natural to, to, to ask how to classify this phenomenon. And I will uh, show you uh, the, the first approach given by Storr for this problem. And he, he observed that the classification of vibration by singular curves can be obtained from the classification of their generic fibers. So what is the, the, the special feature that uh, reflects, uh, reflects that the, a generic fiber is a, a, a generic fiber of a vibration by singular curves? So to answer this, I observe that if we are, uh, if we want to, to, to consider vibration by singular curves, 
then we 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 want to uh, we want to 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 obtain horizontal prime divisors containing the singularities of the, the general fibers, but the horizontal prime divisors are associated to 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 uh, to points to <laughs> closed points of the generic fiber. And the closed points of the generic fibers associated to horizontal prime divisors containing singularities of the generic fibers uh, uh, must be regular but non-smooth. Regular means that uh, its local ring is regular and non-smooth means that if we extend the base field, uh, the, the, the field of constants of the, the, the generic fiber to its algebraic closure, we will obtain uh, singularities of the extended curves lying over this point X. Okay, so the idea, the main idea used by uh, Stoll is the classification of vibration by singular curves comes from uh, the classification of regular but non smooth curves. Okay, so now I want to, 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 uh, notice uh, another approach which works only on surfaces and it was introduced locally by Bondier and Mumford. So in the Enrique's classification of surface uh, and globally by Takeda and Shimada, uh, Takeda uh, used this to construct counterexamples of Kodaira vanishing theorem and Shimada studied uh, the, 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 this phenomenon of families of uh, uh, singular curves on surfaces. So to introduce this approach, I will give a, 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 a nice example, and uh, which is exactly the, the, the example that we, I gave you uh, before, uh, which is this example. So we have the affine plane here. We have the vibration to the affine line given by this polynomial. And we, 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 we we can compute the, 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 the fiber over each t, which is given by y square plus x to the p minus t equals to zero. And here I'm going to introduce new variables here to, 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 to understand better this phenomenon. So I will put uh, capital Y uh, P root of small y and capital X equal to the small x and capital T a P root of small t. Okay, so if we introduce these new variables and, and we put these variables here instead of the, the old ones and we will have uh, 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 after uh, observe uh, characteristic characteristic features to, Okay, so we will have uh, this fiber changing to this algebraic closure here. So y square plus x minus capital square up to the p equals to zero, which is equivalent to y square plus x minus t equals to zero. Okay, so in some sense we are, uh, uh, Obtaining uh, vibration by curves now, but by uh, smooth curves. So in, in some sense, we are obtaining a smoothing of this vibration, okay, with this change of variables here. So let me write here this new variables and the, the diagram that we have. So after to apply the, 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 the new variables, the, capital T and capital Y, we obtain a vibration here and a, chain, a base change here and an, another morphism here, which is purely separable of degree P, okay? And, and here we have a, 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 a Frobenius of the fine line with this uh, uh, ring of polynomials over the fine line with this, uh, the, the, this other ring of polynomials here. Okay, so we have a, a vibration by smooth curves and, and, and there is a, a nice geometry behind of these vibrations. And to see this nice geometry here, I will 
uh, I will take the pre-image of the, the divisor containing the singularities of the, gene of the general fiber. Remember that the, the, this divisor is given by uh, uh, y, small y equals to zero because uh, the singularities are given by t, a uh, uh, p root of t and zero, uh, the singularity of each fiber over t. Okay, so the pre-image by this uh, uh, of this this divisor by this the this morphism is also given by the y capital y equal to zero. Okay, so let me uh, put in a more appropriated way. So we have here the the the, the divisor given by capital y equals to zero. And to understand the, uh, what geometric property characterize this, this divisor, I will introduce a vector field with its uh, a derivation uh, on the, of the, the, the polynomial ring of two variables here, given by the partial derivative with respect to y. And we will introduce many other lines in this affine, uh, uh, affine plane here. And we notice that each line of this uh, is tangent to the fiber of this vibration here along the points of the curve given by capital Y equals to zero. Okay, so in this way, we say that the this divisor this horizontal divisor y equals to zero is the divisor of tangents between the vector fields and the vibration f1 okay so we call it by divisor of tangents and and moreover we notice that the kernel of this derivation here is exactly this ring of polynomials here, which is nothing than this one. So in this way, we say that this affine plane here is the quotient by this affine plane here, the quotient of this affine plane here by these vector fields. Okay, <laughs> so, and we say that this morphism is the, 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 the induced morphism by these vector fields. And this construct is, is, is quite general. And we just need to use a, a property of this vector field. Uh, and, and this property is that it, this vector field is, is called P closed because the composition between uh, 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 this vector field with it. P times is equal uh, is a is a multiple of this the this vector field, and more than that, the, in this case, uh, the this comp the the P composition of this vector field is equal to zero actually. Okay, so uh, this example reflects a, a, a general construction actually. Uh, what was introduced by Shimada and uh, this process. Uh, and let me state this process, okay? So let us consider K be an algebraically closed field and F a vibration by singular curves from a smooth surface to a smooth curve. Then, uh, and if X1 is the normalization of this fiber product here, then there exists a P closed vector field without uh, isolated singularities, such that the, di this diagram commutes, okay? Where here we have the Frobenius, like the, in the example, if you, if you want to, uh, an example to, to think so, and, and, and the, the objects are like in, in that example that I gave you before, okay? So, but this vibration cannot have uh, a vibration by smooth curves like in the previous example, but Shimada's uh, 
proved that Shimada proved that after applying this process finitely many times, we obtain a commutative diagram such that the last vibration is a generically smooth vibration by curves. So we say that this vibration is called a, 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 a smoothing of the, the, the first vibration, okay? So a natural question here if, is if it's possible to use Shimada's construction to classify vibration by singular curves on surfaces. And uh, in this work, we will answer this question in a particular setup, okay? So to introduce Rodrigo, this part- just, just one question. In the previous okay. slide, the vector field was with isolated singularities or non-isolated singularities? Uh, with, with, without isolated singularities, which means that if you, if you write the, 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 the expression of the derivation in a, in a local, local neighborhood of each point, uh, the coefficient will, will, will not vanish on, 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 on this point, okay? So it's with is isolated singularities. Uh, no. The zero locus of the vector field is co-dimension two. Is that what you mean? Yes, 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 yes. So it's with isolated singularities. Yeah, yeah, sorry, 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 sorry. So, uh, so to to introduce the surface that we are uh, we will approach the 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 the, the particular set we are using the particular setup we recall the Lurot theorem which says that uh, every curve dominated by the projective line is also rational and moreover Castelnovo. Uh, generalize it, this uh, result for complex surfaces, but it's no longer true for surfaces over fields of positive characteristics, as was uh, introduced by Zarisk. So he introduced uh, surfaces, non-rational surfaces over a uh, field of positive characteristics that are dominated by the projective plane, okay, and whose dominant uh, rational maps are poorly separable of degree P. These kind of surfaces are called the unirational surfaces. And if we have a, a dominant morphism from a, 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 a unirational surface to a curve, then this curve must be uh, uh, the projective line, okay? Must be rational as well. It's just a, a remark. So the particular setup that we will uh, approach the, the problem of classification of vibration by singular curves on, uh, on surface is this one. So we are, we are going to study unirational surfaces with vibration by singular curves such that X1 in Shimada's diagram is rational and such that we need only one base change to, to reach a uh, smoothing F1 of the vibration F, okay? So in this case, since X1 is a rational surface, then we will have uh, this Y1 and this Y as a projective line and locally they are exactly like, as in the previous example that I, I gave to you. Okay, so the first case, the first concrete case that we can uh, use this particular setup is of vibration by singular curve of arithmetic genus two and by a bound uh, uh, of introduced by Tate, we have that the only possible characteristic for this phenomenon are two, three, and five. And we will skip the characteristic two case and we will keep focus only on, on characteristic three and five. So it's important here to, to, to note that uh, the generic, uh, the arithmetic genus of the generic fiber of vibration F, uh, the, sorry, uh, uh, it is bigger than the, the 
the, the, the arithmetic genus of the generic fiber of its smoothing. And therefore, we have two possibilities here. Since here is two, we have that uh, the, the generic fiber of the fibration of the smoothing must be equal to one or zero. Okay, in the case where it is equal to one, we call F by an absolutely elliptic fibration. And it is possible just when the characteristic is equal to three. And the second case is that uh, when the generic uh, arithmetic genus of the generic fiber of F1 is equal to zero. And in this case, F is called an absolutely rational fibration. And this case is possible when P is equal to three or five. Okay, so we will focus only in this first case of absolutely elliptic fibrations here in this work. Okay, so to approach uh, this, this the, the problem of classification of fibration by uh, absolutely elliptic fibration, uh, fibrations, we will uh, use some results, some results due to Borges' network. So the first one is the characterization of the generic fiber of F and of its smooth. Okay, so if we have an absolute F is an absolutely uh, elliptic vibration by singular curves of arithmetic genus two and F one be its smoothing both defined over an algebraically closed field of characteristic three, then the generic fibers of F and F1 are birationally equivalent to the curve given by these two polynomials respectively. Okay, so here is the, the equation for the, the generic fiber of the vibration F, and here is the, the, the equation of the, uh, of the generic fiber of its smooth. Okay, so... As you can see here, we have a vaster form here. So we, we, we are actually in the, in the case of uh, uh, elliptic vibrations, okay? And here the H is a function, uh, is, is a rational function in small t. J is a rational function uh, in, in capital T, okay? But not in small t where capital T is a tree root of T. And Z and W can be given by these expressions in, in terms of, of X and Y and J. Okay. It's nice to, to observe here that this J is exactly the J invariant of the, the, the elliptic curve given by this Vasters form here. Okay. So uh, there is a, 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 another important result due to Borges Neto as well which says that two absolutely elliptic vibrations by singular curves of arithmetic genus two have isomorphic generic fiber if and only if their correspondent elliptic vibrations also have isomorphic generic fiber. So the generic fiber of the, the smoothing characterizes the generic fiber of the, 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 the non-smooth vibration, okay? In this way, uh, so after that, I have uh, only to, 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 to highlight more one result here and to, to, for, for this purpose, we, uh, I will observe to you that uh, the, the resolution of the surface, the rational surface X1 appearing in Shimada process is a rational elliptic surface which means that uh, it is a smooth project and rational surface. And there exists a, sur uh, a surjective morphism from, uh, from E to, to the projective line with general fiber being a smooth curve with arithmetic genus one. And, uh, with a set, and this morphism has a section, okay? So in this case, since we have a vector field here in, 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 on X1, so we will have a vector field here on the, the, the rational elliptic surface as well, such that the induced vibration after we, we apply the Frobenius, the relative Frobenius on the base and uh, the, the, the morphism associated to, to the vector field, we will have a, here we will have a vibration uh, with 
uh, a vibration by singular curves of arithmetic genus two. Okay, so it's it's a natural question to ask if we have an on a elliptic a rational elliptic surface if there is a three closed vector field such that the the induced vibration is a vibration by genus two singular uh, curves. And we can answer this question just by, by looking at the Jane variant of the generic fiber. And we answer that, uh, the, uh, and, and the answer is yes, there is a, a, a vector field if and only if uh, the J variant of the generic fiber is not a, a cubic power on the field of rational function of the projective line, okay? So after to, to, to have in mind this, the pre, this result and the previous one, we can make a one-to-one -one correspondence between the following sets, the set of vibration by singular genus two curves with smoothing being an elliptic vibration over a rational surface up to a, 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 a uh, some relation that I will explain in, in the end, and the vibrations by ellipse curves over rational surface whose J variant is not a cubic power here in this field, okay? Also uh, up to this uh, equivalence where this equivalence identifies vibration with isomorphic generic fibers. So instead to, to, to try to look at this set, we will use uh, the, the next one in order to classify vibration by singular curves of genus two with smoothing being an elliptic vibration over a rational surface. Okay, so now we want to understand how to describe these objects here. Okay, so in order to do this, oh, or since we, we, we for, for fields of characteristic P, I just remember. É, pensa que pensa que é um para cada curva elíptica você tem um variante PSJ que ele é o variante por isomorfismo ele caracteriza. Uh, desculpa, eu não estou entendendo direito. Are you here? A gente ligou o microfone aqui sem querer. Desculpa, ah, pode continuar. Ok, ok. Yeah. Tudo bem. So, uh, I just, uh, I'm just make, uh, I just make one remark here uh, where it, it, there is no, for instance, a moduli of uh, rational elliptic vibrations over fields of characteristic three over an algebraically closed field of uh, over fields of uh, characteristic three. So we decided to approach the, the, this problem to describe this uh, set here, uh, analyzing pencils of curves, since uh, we have a result due to Kosek and Dolgachev, which says that rational elliptic surface are obtained up to isomorphies by blowing up the, uh, uh, the base points of a pencil of smooth cubic curves on the projective plane. So in order to, 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 to try this description, we, we will, uh, will be interesting to, to decompose this set E here, okay, in some pieces that we are able to understand each of these pieces, okay? So in order to do this, we will use the model value group and we will use firstly uh, uh, a characterization due to Ogizu and Shioda, which says that if we have a rational elliptic surface with generic fiber E as a curve over this rational field of the projective line, then the group of rational points of this generic fiber is finitely generated and is called the model veil of KP1 rational points of E. And moreover, we have that for rational elliptic surface, the rank of the model veil group is given by this formula where MV 
runs the uh, is equal to the number of components of the of reducible fibers of the the the, the, the vibration uh, the vibration by elliptic curves over the rational elliptic uh, on the rational elliptic surface and and here v uh, runs the points uh, such that the, the 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 fibers are reducible okay and moreover this uh, group Mordo veil group is a uh, birational. Uh, <coughs> sorry, it, this group is, is a, a birational invariant of the generic fiber, and therefore we can decompose that set E in a joint in union of nine pieces, where each piece is a vibration is is are the 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 the, the class of vibration by elliptic curves over rational surface with model value rank i whose j invariant is not a cubic power up to to the, 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 the equivalence relation okay and in this work we decided to 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 understand uh, to start to understand this pieces and and we we have uh, we we and I'm going to, to, to show you now how to understand the piece E0, okay? So in order to do this, I'm, uh, I will combine two, two results. One uh, is the characterization of lattices, which was uh, introduced by Ogiz and Shioda. And the another one is the character, characterization of Weistress uh, normal forms for rational elliptic surface, which was obtained by William Lang and many others. And, and by combining these, these two, two, two results, we have that uh, the special fibers and the Mordovail group of rational elliptic surface defined over the algebraically closed field of characteristic three with model value rank zero and J invariant uh, being not a cubic power are given by one of the following uh, possibilities. And the first possibility, is, uh, the special fiber uh, is given by two curves, two star and I1, where the two star is a, a fiber like this and one I1 is another cubic. And the second, uh, uh, sorry, the Mordovil group is the trivial group here. The second one is uh, the special fiber is given by an I4 star and two fibers of type I1, where and, and we can uh, read the, 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 the following list here if you want. So, uh, after to, 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 to have this, this, the characterization of possibilities for the special fibers, we are trying, we, we will decompose as well the set E0 of vibration by singular curves with more than value rank zero. Okay. And we will use a remark for this proposal. And the remark is that uh, is is that elliptic vibrations on rational surface defined over fields of characteristic three with more than value rank zero and J invariant being not a cubic power. And with distinct configuration of special fibers cannot have isomorphic generic fibers. So each possibility in the, this list for this remark will give uh, one set again, in the decomposition of the set E0, okay? So we can decompose as a joint union, E0 as a joint union of H8 pieces, where each piece is, uh, where the piece a E0L is the, the equivalent classes of vibration by ellipse curves on rational surfaces with model value rank zero, uh, J variant being not a cubic power and whose special fibers are as in, I think, L of, uh, of the previous proposition here, okay? 
So now I want to show you this, uh, this, uh, the description of each, of each one of these uh, pieces in this disjoint, disjoint union. Okay, so to do this, we will uh, characterize pencils of plane cubic curves uh, that can generate the ellip rational elliptic surface with the prescribed special fiber. Okay, so we will let me uh, uh, let me come back to this to this proposition here. In order to do this, we are going to take all possible contractions of this. We fix a special fiber, and after that, we'll take all contractions of special fibers, okay, on uh, cubic curves, on plane cubic curves. And we will have a bunch of possibilities for contractions. And after that, we will uh, take pairs of bit among this plane curve that, 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 that this possibilities of contractions, and we will generate uh, pencils of curves. So we will have a, a finitely many possibilities of pencils of cubic curves generating a rational elliptic surface with the prescribed special fiber. Okay. So after to do this, we have consider uh, all of these pencils, and we have to see if it's possible by blowing up the base points to reach. A, a rational elliptic vibration with a rational elliptic surface, sorry, with the prescribed uh, special fibers. And it's possible, uh, it's possible to, that we, we, we have to, to, to throw out the, some, some pencils of curves and we will keep only the pencils that realize this is special fiber after to blow up the, 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 the base points. Okay, after that, we have two possibilities of constructions. One given by this one, one pencil uh, uh, and water given by, for, for instance, another one pencil. Okay, and we are uh, interested in uh, to see if these two constructions uh, have, uh, let me say, uh, isomorphic generic fibers. Okay, so if they are equivalent uh, when we, 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 we produce the, 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 the vibration over the rational elliptic vibration. So in order to do this, we have to, to blow up the points of the first, uh, of the, uh, the, 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 the base points of the first pencil, and we will have uh, may, uh, the special fibers and, and many sections. And after to, to, to see this configuration, we have to see if it's possible to start from these sections to contract in the other direction. So to obtain uh, uh, the pencil of ellipse curves given by the, 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 the second fixed pencil, okay? So after to do this process, we can uh, describe all possible uh, all possible constructions. So for rational elliptic surface with Mordovay rank zero, J invariant here, and with the prescribed special fibers. So for the fiber two star and one I1, uh, the way to produce a pencil that realizes a ellip rational elliptic surface with this prescribed data is the following. We have to take a nodal cubic and a triple line where this triple line is an inflectional line. And here the base point, let me give you a, a zoom here. So the, this base point, uh, the, the intersection between any uh, among any two members of this pencil at this uh, base point must be equal to nine. Okay, so this is the geometry behind of the choice of this 
of this pair of, of curves, okay? So for this fiber I4 star and two I1, uh, we, we realize such uh, uh, surfaces by taking a pencil generated by a double line union, uh, another line, and again, another cubic where, let me show you more close here, where this simple line here is an inflectional line and the double line is a line passing through the, the, the flex points and which is tangent to another point of the, 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 the nodal cubic, okay? And in this way, we can proceed with these constructions to have all of the cases uh, for const construction of special fibers or of rational elliptical, uh, rational elliptical surface with prescribed uh, special fibers, okay? Well, after to do this, we have in mind to understand uh, vibrations by ellipse curves that are, that have having isomorphic generic fibers, okay? So in order to do this, we will use the freedom of choice of uh, generators for each of these pencils. Well, obviously uh, the freedom is, is not so uh, uh, bigger because we have a, a geometric position, okay? Between the, the, the generators like this, and we have the freedom of, uh, of choosing uh, uh, generators. And after that, we will have a pencil uh, parametrized by some, some variables in the field K, okay? And after to do this, we can uh, apply Nagel algorithm to obtain a Weistrass form for the, 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 the generic fiber, okay, of the elliptic vibration. And we have two possibilities now. The first one is to proceed with uh, Mabius, Mabius uh, maps from the, 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 the field of rational functions of the projective line in order to see if the generic fiber after to apply this Mabius transform uh, will, uh, will have the same gen variant with the generic fiber with the gen with the generic fiber of the first construction, okay? And if the A2, the quotient between the A2 coefficients uh, in the Weistrass form uh, is a, 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 a square, okay? Is a, a, in, in the field of the rational functions of the projective line. Okay, so this is the first uh, option to, to relate generic fibers. And after that, the, the and, and sorry, and the, the, the second uh, possibility is to, to apply uh, automorphism of the, 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 the base of the vibration, which is the projective line, in order to see if the, 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 the generic fibers of one of the, 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 the vibration goes to the generic fibers uh, over the, the, of the, the, the other one, the other vibration. Okay, so after to do this process, we can uh, show that uh, each, we can describe, we can give a one-to-one -one correspondence between the pairs. So the, the set E01 is, is given by uh, just one class of pencils and the class we describe it here is the pencil generated by this curve. And we can do this by all of the, the sets E, zero, L, okay? For, for each uh, uh, configuration of special fiber. So to finish, I would like to remember that we have a vector field here uh, in, the, in, in Shimada's process. And we ask how to, uh, how to, to, to build this, the vector fields on the plane, uh, cur on, the, on the projected plane, we, uh, such that the induced vibration 
here is a vibration by genus two singular curve. And this for, for, for each shoes of pencils like in, 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 on this list, okay? And to answer this question, we have two possibilities of, uh, uh, of approach. And the first possibility is the second one, it, sorry, is the following. Uh, if we take uh, the plane here, and, oh, sorry, here is a, a rational map, P1. Okay, so we can uh, blow up the base points in order to have a elliptic rational, a rational elliptic surface with a vibration by singular curve. Okay, so we have uh, smooth fibers here. And we want to understand how to build vector fields whose uh, tan or horizontal part with horizontal part of the, 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 the tangent divisor with prescribed uh, properties. W what is this prescribed property? If we consider the foliation F associated to this vector field, okay? And if we take the cotangent one of this foliation, this uh, it can it 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 must intersect the general fiber and just one transversely. Okay, this is the 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 setup that the the data that we have to to study in order to produce such vector fields. However, we we did another approach, and our approach used the normal form for the generic fiber uh, introduced by Borges Neto. And we, we, we understood the, the derivation of the function field of the, gen, the, the, gen, the, the sorry, of the, the ellipse curve with Weierstrass form given by this one such that whose kernel is exactly the function field of the regular but non-smooth genus two curve given by this uh, normal form. And we give the, 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 P close, uh, the three closed vector field. We have that the three closed vector field exactly given by this expression, okay? And after to do that, we did, we, we, we proceeded with in, in the following way. So remember that we can reach uh, a Weierstrass form by using Nagel algorithm. So we start from a pencil and we, we apply Nagel uh, algorithm in order to, to obtain a, a, a Weierstrass form for the generic fiber. And after that, we can uh, make change of variables in order to, 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 to obtain this Weierstrass form. And after that, we, can, we, we may pull back this vector field by this change of variables up to reach the projective uh, plane. Okay, so we can do this algebraic computation. And after that, we obtain for each case of the, 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 the pencils given in the previous theorem, we can obtain that the vector fields that realize vibration by uh, arithmetic genus two uh, singular curves after the quotient of the projective plane are exactly the vector fields with coordinates in the chart z different to zero, given uh, with coordinates a, a, l, b, l, with, sorry, with coefficients a, l, and b, l, given by this uh, bunch of polynomials for obviously for each case of the previous uh, list of, of, of pencils, okay? So, uh, here is our last results, and thank you for 
the attention. So, <clears throat> let's thank you a little. Are there any questions, remarks? Um, so I, I can, well, I have some, some questions with you. Um, one of those is, uh, how you deal with, how you deal with higher genus, things like that? Is it possible or this is sort of the limit? Well, actually we need to, we need to understand how to, to, to realize and to classify vibrations uh uh of genus bigger than one at least because if you have a higher genus vibration by singular curve and we make the the the, the change of the base so, change so this moves. Uh -huh. yeah this moves. maybe you you will you, you will obtain a vibration by gene a smooth vibration by genus bigger than one or or even zero it's not so 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 mm -hmm. so clear how to to, to classify vibrations by genus, smooth vibration by genus. I, I, I actually, I don't know, maybe it is uh, is uh, over rational surfaces, okay? Oh, yeah. And well, there was another question. I think I, I missed something. Uh, you had a classic, could you please go to slide 20 or something? 20. No, a uh, little bit earlier. 20. Uh, here, not so much. Yeah, because, yeah, here, it's... there was a classification. Wow. Here. Yeah. No, it's a, a little bit ahead. Here? Yeah. Yeah, for instance, case one, there are two curves there. Two and yeah, yeah, two special fibers. Yeah, two special fibers, and then you you go to the um, if you go ahead, you're gonna you're gonna see what I'm. Saying. Yes, sure. Here. Uh, yeah, here. I don't think I I grabbed this thing like how you did. Ah, okay. How to construct the yeah from the yeah the, the unique uh -huh. possibility of uh, of realizing yeah, ah, yeah okay, that's okay. right. So you, you have to to contract the, you have to see what are the possible contractions of each special fiber, uh -huh. and you 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 will obtain uh, a bunch of uh, cubic curves. Okay. Yeah, and we 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 take pairs of the among among these two to the, the, the this bunch of possibilities. Okay, I see. Mm -hmm. So you will have uh, many pencils that can realize ellipt rational elliptical vibrations with this prescribed special fiber. Yes. Uh -huh. Okay, and after that you have you have to to blow up the base points and maybe the special fiber will not uh, be exactly that one that you are expect expecting. Uh -huh. Okay. And you have to remove the, the this list of- Ah, the non, uh -huh. Yeah, the, the, this, uh, this list, okay. And after to do this, you have to consider only the remaining Pencils that realize vibrations by with this uh, vibration by elliptic curves with this this special mm -hmm. fiber. Uh -huh. Okay, and and now you have to to uh, you have to take two possible constructions and you have to 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 see if they are equivalent in the meaning of the uh, we, we have isomorphic generic fibers. How to do this? You take the, the blow up, uh, fix the first one, and you, you blow up the, the, the base points, and you will reach 
uh, 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 the special fibers of the uh, a rational elliptic surface with these special fibers and many other sections. And, up, and you have to see a, a, a combination of contractions that you can, obviously you start the contractions by the, 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 the sections, okay? And you have to, 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 to see how to contract this diagram in a different way in order to, 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 to obtain to the second, uh -huh. yeah, yes, to achieve the, the, the second uh -huh. pencil the second configuration of generators for the, the second pencil. And we can do this, okay? We can do this and after to do this process, uh, we, we can list exactly one possibility of, uh, of pencil that uh, generates uh, the uh, rational elliptic surface with this prescri pres prescribed Scribed data. Fiber. Yeah, uh, exactly, exactly. Yeah, I see, I, well, now it's fair. <laughs> mm. Are there any, are there any more questions, comments? Uh, hi, hi, Rodrigo, how are you? Hi, Cesar, good and you? Uh, yeah. I have a, a very nice question. Why do you focus on unirational surfaces? It is, is it because of, of that schematic because process? It's e e no, <laughs> because it's easier to, 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 to characterize the, the, the smooth vibration. All oh, right, right. But yeah, that's um, the point. But is there a way to, to extend these results outside the scope of those, uh, these unirational surfaces? What is yeah, your like, guess? I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe for K3 surface. Maybe. Maybe. All right. And, and you focus on the case G equals 2, right? Yes. And uh, what happens when G is equal to 3? Yeah. Well, I guess that if you have a uh, uh, characterization, uh, uh, equivalent between the, the isomorphic classes of the generic fibers of the ellipse curves or, or uh, of the extended vibration, okay? And the, 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 the equivalence, uh, the isomorphic classes of the generic fiber of the singular vibration, then you, you, you have a chance to, to obtain the classification. I think so. At least for, Particular cases, I don't know what to expect when we grow the the ins, uh, e, i. Okay, we 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 studied the in, the, the 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 set e zero, and I don't know, and, and probably the the geometry will 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 be more difficult when we grow up the ins. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay, thanks. Wow. Right. So, by the way, maybe it's pretty easy. Well, uh, what is is it, is it easy to see the relation between genus and characteristic that you said? Like, there is a bound. Ah, it's a result uh, of Tate. Okay, and and there is a a, a paper to using. Uh, I I don't remember. Cesar, do you remember the, the? I think it's a paper from. No, the, the techniques. Uh, ah, the techniques. Yeah, to see. Uh -huh. I think it's techniques from functional field theory, but I don't remember. Yes, quite yes, 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 yes. All right. So, okay. Well, so let's. Uh, are there any more questions? Well, so. Uh, let's thank Rodrigo again for this so nice talk. So that's it. Okay. Okay.